Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we got 1.7 million right now in 24 days to the financial report. Um, so we're going to have to generate some C-bills today. You notice the icon is missing here. Um, I just loaded straight in from recording an episode of um, Jade Falcon Freeborn. Um, I suggest you go check that one out. So basically what I'm, what, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and get a couple of missions done, jump right in, just going to go for C-bills. Um, I think if you have a look, we have a look at the map here. It should still be the same from when I recorded the other episode. Yeah. So right now the map has been reset, but there's nobody on it. It's all independent, uh, um, uh, localized use only right now for each each uh, um, person. So this was the border before we had jumped back across the border, and now I think it's been restored to the original. Um, um, like the original borders for the start of the map. Um, and you notice Terra is right here. Um, and we're really close to being able to move in and take it before the borders were like back over here, right? This was all um, Steiner space. So um, anyway, so we're going to take a couple missions here today, um, which is fine. They're still working on the map. Now I know uh, 999 has gone through a couple of changes, and I mentioned all this in uh, Jade Falcon Freeborn. If you watch that episode, I think it's episode 51, um, you'll you know get an idea of what I was saying about it. Just basically that um, I've been waiting for a couple of episodes because it's gone through a couple of patches already and a hotfix. So um, it's already at patch two, hotfix one, and it's only with the day after they kind of released it. So they're working really, really hard on it. I. I you know, commend them. They're just outstanding. These the, the people that are working on it are just outstanding. Um, all of them. Um, so once again, I'm going to suggest if uh, you guys have any uh, extra currency lying around, um, when you do go download it off of um, the uh, Nexus site, there's the option to uh, um, drop a little payment to the people that are working on it. I mean, this is your entertainment if you're actually playing. My suggestion is to go ahead and drop a little bit of uh, coin away. Anything will help, I'm, I'm assuming. So, because um, I'm expecting that they're probably doing all this on their free time. Um, and it's, I know they're, they're enjoying what they're doing, but also we're getting the enjoyment out of it too. So it'd be nice to help them out a little bit. And that's the plug. That wasn't prompted by anybody. That's just a plug I'm just dropping for them because... Um, you know they've supplied me hours and hours and hours of entertainment, um, and you got you know you guys watching the episodes so that you've gotten your entertainment out of it as well. So that's just a suggestion. Whether you do it or not, it's completely up to you. It's not a guilt trip or anything. Um, so uh, that being said, um, yeah. So I'm gonna just preface this by saying on so this is Monday night for me, which I think is April the 11th. Um, 11th? No. 9th. 10th? I don't know what the hell date it is. I had a really long, hard day at work today. I got like 10 jobs on my desk, and by the end of the day, they came in and dropped another one, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I got to get all this done before the end of the month, and it's just going to be hell. And that's not including anything that comes in between now and then. So um, my days are going to be quite busy. So uh, if, for whatever reason, this is going to air on Tuesday night, if for whatever reason you don't see an episode on Wednesday night, um, that just means that I've installed 999 but didn't have enough time to actually record episodes. Um, I am going to try and prioritize getting Falcon Freeborn recorded tomorrow um, just because it's got a larger audience right now. Um, so, and it'll be an easier one to get up and running because we've got like, you know, over 5,000 C bills stored up in that one. So it should be easier to put the mechs in storage and bring them out. And clan, like the Omni mechs, are so much easier to, to re outfit. They're so much cheaper because they've already got XL engines built into them and stuff. So it'll just be easier to run that episode. And then the, the episode after that, um, I'll try and get a Night Witches one done. Like I said, can't guarantee it just because of my work schedule and stuff currently. But definitely there will be episodes on Thursday. I'll make sure I get those recorded uh, Wednesday night, absolutely, if I have to. And get them released for Thursday, but my goal is to still have episodes on Wednesday. Um, but yes, we will be going full 999 at that point. Um, so looking forward to that. All right, so that being said, let's get into some contracts here. Now we're on a three skull planet. Um, there are a few um, things we can take here. Uh, I don't want to go too hard. I'm just looking for sea bills right now. So let's just take something like this, hold the line. That's a defend base. It's going to take too long to do that. Manufacturing captures facility 1.3 mil. Let's do this one. Uh, planetary government. So let's negotiate this. 
And let's go this route again for a million sea bills. And just in case we can pick up some half decent salvage, we can do that. All right. Um, and let's go with the main lance again. And then we'll take a lower one maybe for the other lance. So this guy, this guy, and this guy, and this guy. So I was always saying in, um, on, um, I can't remember whose post it was. They were talking about environmental effects being real, I th think. I can't remember. Sorry, I apologize. Uh, my, my brain is just like fried right now. Someone had mentioned about the environmental effects, and I apologize. I can't remember who it was off the top of my head. Um, being a real thing, they, they posted a pic of the, of the trees on fire, which was awesome. So I can't wait to see what the flame hawk is actually going to do to the environment, because this thing is just going to cook everything. So... Um, yeah, I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. All right, let's deploy these guys and get it done. All right, here we go. Okay, this map. All right, let's do this. So, I want to try and find a mech with a crap ton of... And I mean a crap ton of laser hard points. Because what I'd love to do, like, it's got to be over 10. It's got to be at least 12 or more. So I'm probably going to have to find a clan mech. But I want to get one with so many um, laser hard points. Uh, and I'm going to put the biggest engine I possibly can in it. And I'm just going to fill it with flamers. And I just, <laughs> just want to go in and set all the environment on fire everywhere. Just to see just to see what it, what can be done with it because I think if you're if you're standing in trees that have got like fire and stuff on it oh nice um, then uh, you'll be taking heat damage so <laughs> I want to make it super fast give it tons of evasion and just have it run in and just burn everything um, I was thinking about calling it the supernova and I'm sure red comets the perfect pilot for, for that particular mech to earn our oh, Commander. yeah. I'm still seeing hostile contact That's because they're in the area where we need to go, Darius. <sighs> Zukov, Zukov. Clint. Wolfhound. Wolfie. Uh, what's the best chance to hit here? Ooh, that's not bad. Ooh, that's even better. That's not so good. Let's go this one. Uh, and we have a good chance to do lots of damage. Let's Warlord it. And fire. Acknowledged. Yeah, so I just want to just... Ooh, did we not get it? Oh, close. Uh, I just want to move in and just like with, <laughs> with a flame mech and just absolutely incinerate everything. Just to see what it can do. Wow, these uh, ER mediums are really not a secondary weapon choice. Let's finish up the Zukov. There we go. Enemy unit One down. How far can you go? Eh, not far enough. Eh. See if we can some get some acid on that guy. Probably not. Oh, I was really hoping that last one was going to hit. Attack failed. Yeah. It's not a failure. It's only a failure if you're not attacking. Uh, anyway, yeah, so 999. Oh, man, I really can't wait. So many good things. The fact that superchargers, um, uh, mask, and t um, triple strength Myomars, the TSMs, can all be used at the same time. You can toggle them on and off. That's just brilliant. Just absolutely brilliant. I mean, everything the guys these guys have done has been br been brilliant. Okay, I say guys. These people have done because I know they're not they're not all males. I apologize, guys. is just a generic term for me. Um, but yeah, the 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 group that's been working on Rotec just fantastic work. Fantastic. And it's Warlord this guy. It's a habit, you know. I, I it's funny. The term guys has just become, I think on the internet more so than anywhere, has just become, um, I think, synonymous 
basically meaning group of people. Um, I know there's still some people that don't don't see it as that, and I can completely understand it. Um, I have uh, my youngest is gender diverse, so um, I totally get that. I totally get it. So I apologize if I if I offended anybody, but like I said, my youngest is gender diverse, and they use the term guys all the time, just as a term that means like everybody. So that's how I use it all the time. All right, let's blast this guy. A little bit of acid, a little bit of fire. Only 29, huh? Yeah. At least we got something on him. I don't even think Megasaur is going to get a chance to... S oh, I... I <laughs> Why do I open my mouth? Really? I was just about to say, I don't think Megasaur is going to get a chance to use any melee, but... Oh, this guy's decided he wants to move in for suicide, and that's okay. We're, we're okay with that. We accept your, uh, we accept your surrender. We accept your surrender. Yeah, they're not even going to show us. It's just too, too horrible to see. Still alive, though. Nope, he's not. <laughs> Why do I open my mouth? Why? He, she hit his arm, so I thought, oh, for sure. For sure the guy's still alive. Nope. I just gotta stay quiet, I think, a lot of the times. Just don't even bother trying to predict stuff. It's the universe's way of saying, you don't know as much as you think you do. And I can accept that, because I don't. Nobody does. The funny thing about knowing stuff, the more you know, the more you realize you don't know. Don't really want to salvage from that mech, but I want him gone. That was the easiest way to do it, I think. Ready for orders. Oh, let's get over here. Yeah, I'm firing for a handful of damage. See, they're not bad when they're close. I'm here. Oof, this guy's gonna be like, please no, please, I haven't done anything to you, warlord. Here it comes. Still alive. I think he was firing at the uh, the leopard coming in to pick us up. up oh, looks like enemy Mirmidon. I was really hoping only for one uh, group here. Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Well, I'm going to pay for it, but you're going to pay for it at the same time. If that makes any sense. I'm sure it doesn't, but that's fine. Alright, shooting at this guy. Well, well, you might be able to hit the Zukov side. Let's just fire on him. See if we can get rid of him. He's got a couple of AC-10s I don't want on the battlefield. Commander? Um, oh, that's a back shot. Oh, damn it! That was stupid of me. Okay. I completely forgotten about the guy across the river that comes in. Gladiator. <gasps> Here it comes. Foghorn. 648 damage. So somebody mentioned the Black Knight should be hitting far more than this. Um, and I'm going to have to try that out because they were saying that what you should be doing is install all the weapon systems that do just damage first and then repair the mech, get it into the mech bay, put it back in, then install all the components that do damage um, and percentage damage have it be fixed, put it into the mech bay, bring it back into the, to, to be repaired again, and then just put on all the percentage items. Um, now I'm pretty sure when I first did this, uh, or first tried it that way, 
Um, that's what I did. But then I think I did it again afterwards without doing it that way, just, just by loading everything on. And it seemed to be the same. Now, I could be wrong. Um, and maybe things have changed since I did it that way, like which was a fair, fair amount of time ago. Commander. Ah, shit, I can't see that guy. Let's reserve. Um, so I will try it again, but once we... I'm going to do it when we bring the mech back. Uh, what I'll do is I'll... I'll um, probably do it on camera, just so we can see. Because we know what the melee is right now, right? It's like 324. Someone said it should be hitting over 400. Um, I apologize once again. I can't remember who it was off the top of my head that mentioned that. Um, my brain is, like I said, is kind of fried right now. Um, that plus there's so many, well, not so many, but a fair number of people commenting now. Um, I'm having a hard time remembering who's making what comments. And I appreciate everybody's comments. I really enjoy all the comments. You're making me think about Battletech in a completely different way. Being on Spectrum, it's like you get a certain way into your head and it kind of stays there and you kind of think that that's the only way. Um, so you end up getting yourself into this, um, I don't want to say rut, I don't want to say closed-mindedness, but it's a, it's a focus that can really be detrimental to like learning new ways. I got a tendency to be like resistant to trying new things. Um, it's only because it shakes up my normal. So, um, yeah, I appreciate all the comments. It's making me look at Rogue Tech in a different way. So and I really appreciate that. It's, I think it's making my game better, too. Like, I still like... Ah, crap. I still like playing the game very offensive like this. Um, I like getting right into the thick of things and fighting. But now, you know, I'm thinking that, you know, hey, I got to watch out for this. I got to watch out for that. You know, maybe I should be changing this loadout. Maybe I should be changing that loadout. It just makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Oh, I destroyed the claws. No. Well, sucks to be this guy. Because damn. Maybe he's got claws on the other arm. I hope he does. Well, we can't hit from there, but we can hit from the trees? Alright. Sure. We gotta get some claws back. The uh, hunchback, uh, the damage dropped from 220 to 117 just by losing the claws. And, you know, you, ne you wouldn't think that it would drop that much, but the claws do add plus 70% damage, right? It's a huge chunk of damage that we just we're missing now. Oh, good. Do we capture the base? Of course not. We gotta run all the way back. Because of course we didn't. It should just end whether we've captured the base or not, but whatever. I understand the programming you need an objective, so. And that's fine. We'll take the extra time out of our lives to Make a run back here to see who can get there first. It's going to be Red Comet, unfortunately. Well, unfortunately for everybody else, but not for her. Because, damn, she fast. There we go. Alright, let's go home. Mission successful. Okay, one over 1 million sea bills. A uh, little bit of damage, but not much. I'm probably like 20 or 30,000, maybe. And we don't want any of that stuff. Let's just see if what, if any melee stuff is, ah, the claws. Want to take those for sure. This would be nice, but the claws, I think, are the best bet out of all of this stuff. Virtual reality pod, ah, of course. You know, I'm going to do something here that, and I, I just want to try this, whether it works or not. I don't know, maybe it's just me being superstitious, but in the past, when I brought something in and taken it out, and then I put something else in, like this, and then taken it out, and then gone back and chosen this, oftentimes that thing that I've selected will show up down here, but not today. <laughs> 
I've actually had that happen a couple times, and it's I'm sure it's just a fluke. All right, let's have a look here. Ah, eh, 32,000. Okay, not bad. Seven days is nothing. All right, so let's take another mission here. Ah, a million retribution. Battle in the Badlands. Sure, it's worth a million. Well, 836,000, that's not bad. Let's accept that. Take the second lance out. All right, the more mechs that don't get damaged, the better. Um, we're going to go with... Does it really matter? This guy... Okay, we need to put um, <sighs> Yeah, Satori Sound Sonic Sheet Metal down here. Oops, no, Chupacabra needs to go in here. And deploy. All right, here we go. Oh, how much you want to bet this is more than just one lance. So what I was thinking for the future kind of, of where Night Witches is going to go, we're going to stay um, on Karita's side. Most likely we're going to ally with Karita. Um, I want to fight the clans, but we're going to have to wait and see what, what clans actually make their way down into the inner sphere. Um, there was a big tapering off of uh, clan power in the inner sphere. Uh, Ghost Bear lost a lot of their holdings in Outworlds Alliance. Uh, clan Wolf lost a lot of um, ground to Steiner. Um, not exactly sure um, if Wolf was actually fighting back. Um, of course you do. Uh, with the with zeal, I've heard that a lot of the wolf players um, have been kind of um, not like taking a break, waiting for 999 and the new map to drop. Um, so we'll see what happens with them. Hopefully, the rivalry between Falcon and Wolf right now that's been going on in um, in some of the chat and in um, cl clan space actually gets resolved and clans begin to make their way to the inner sphere. I just wish there was more than two pathways. Um, it seems like Jade Falcon, uh, Ghost Bear, and Clan Wolf are the three clans. I wish we had four or five different avenues to get to the inner sphere that each of the clans could take their own avenue, not fight each other. Ooh. Um, and then uh, once we get to the inner sphere, then we could start... Uh, divvying it up amongst each other and have bets as to who can take what and how fast and things like that so that would kind of be cool and then it would give the the people in the inner sphere who are playing um a, a chance to fight back oh my god stingray gorilla crab really 19 got some good mechs here Well, they're going to be on the receiving end of a lot, a whole lot of pain very shortly here. So we got the new MRM build up and running here. I'm interested to see how it actually functions. Wow, that's got to end. What do we got back here, Griffin? Wolfhound, Javelin. Okay, not so bad. Laser AMS for the win, man. Gotta get as many of those clan laser AMSs as I can because they're nice and light. What else we got back here? Centurion, okay. Waiting on you, Commander. You're the SRM build. I'm healed. Um... Crab, 57, 38. Maybe we hammer the crab, I think. Let's pull it from the battle. Gonna turn this way 
And we warlord it at the start. Uh, I think we wait till we get a little closer. Okay, got the acid going. Hey. Hey. Coffee. Walking in once again. Ooh. Ah, it's the same chances. Yeah, just fire. Ah, a couple hits. I think we need to go after the gorilla with the hunchback. Ah, smart play. Smart play. Is he in range though? That's the question. That's a significant amount of damage. Whoa! Easy on the armor, buddy. Yeah. I really want to see what this guy's going to do. To MRM 40 improved. Ready for orders. Uh, oh, you've got a good shot at the bushwhacker. Um, let's take it. It's only 117, but still. So melee's changed too, apparently. Apparently, the melee mechs do more damage, which for me is completely disappointing. And I say that because not because you know I mean, we've got a couple of mechs that do a lot of damage already, but I just hope the game doesn't turn into friggin' brawl, brawl bots. It's striking the balance between melee and shooting. Orders. And honestly, if you want to think about it, your chance to hit. Okay, your your when using weapons, your chance to hit is based on your movement, their movement, terrain, all these other things, right? But if you if you're thinking about it. When their mech is moving, your melee chance to hit should be based on, you know, how much you're moving, how much they're moving, and whether you can predict where they're going to end off. Because, I mean, this is turn-based, right? But you got to think of it as them both moving at the same time. So when you see a mech moving, you have no idea where it's going to go. So if you're setting up your melee attack based on where their movement is and they change direction, your whole attack changes, Right? And the fact that you're running and got to cover the train to get there is a little different than leading and firing and almost hitting somebody instantly. Wow, this guy's going to be in a lot of trouble here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you know what I'm saying, but this guy shut down. Dude, see ya. Yeah, I think I'm liking that MRM 40 build. <laughs> I think I've got the do I have the accuracy I can't remember if I've got the accuracy one in here missile plus I can't remember if it was the accuracy one or the damage I think it's the accuracy one I think I have the damage one somewhere else but the the planet that we're on actually has got a uh, another um, it's got another tar uh, missile targeting computer on it that I'd, like, I'd love to be able to buy but I don't think it's going to happen. Okay. 33. Better chances on the bushwhacker. And this guy's more dangerous. So let's fire everything. Maybe things are looking up. Yeah, I took a risk moving in there. I was hoping I was going to move before, before the Stingray, but it didn't happen. Not much I can do about that. Yep. Ah, lasers are stuck again. What if they fix this? 
Sure they have. Now we'll move and those lasers will still be there. Not much we can do about it. Right, Commander. Jammed by ECM. We're gonna warlord this and blast him in the face. I apologize for the noise. Good to go. Affirmative. We're putting the MRM 40 on the uh, bushwhackers, so. Sorry. Attack. MRM 80. Yeah, the hunchback's kind of underwhelming now. Love to get it a flail. Quite enough. Let's move to here. Position confirmed. Lasers are still going. Fire. God, I hope that sound ends. It did the last time. On my next turn, it just stopped. Oh man, you're gonna suffer the same fate that last guy did. Yeah, those laser are AMSs. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, worth their weight in gold. Well, in sea bills anyway. See if we can take this guy's torso. Um, just save some recoil. Firing. The other thing I had um, that I'm not sure if the uh, developers are aware of um, is I had an enemy shut down. And while it was shut down the next turn it was still able to fire its AMS system, which shouldn't happen if it's, like, shut down. I know it's automatic, but still shouldn't happen if it's shut down. Torso, yes. Terminated with extreme prejudice. Let's rotate over to these guys. Getting, I apologize for this, guys. Sorry. Uh, that javelin. Dude. You notice know a catapult here with an MRM-40, right? Sorry, I keep saying 40. A pair of MRM-40s. <sighs> okay. So, this guy jumped, landed in the forest. I still, and I'm just going to walk over and hit him. I still have an 88% chance to hit. Honestly, what chance do you think I would have to be able to predict where this guy was going to jump and land? Like, this should still be way lower. The damage should still remain the same or be higher, but it should remain lower. And uh, somebody had mentioned, too, being able to change from whether you want to charge somebody and hit them with full body, punch or kick or whatever, right? I agree with that, but I think that there should be damage your mech takes based on the type of attack that you do and where you hit and what kind of uh, components you have. So like if you punch somebody and you don't have like a uh, melee weapon or something or a melee arm um, uh, actuator or something like that, then your hand should take damage because your mech is not designed to actually do any kind of melee, right? That's how I think it should be. And then that would completely discourage all the, like, 
mechs that are like primarily weapons based from meleeing. They shouldn't be meleeing at all. Their chance should be a lot lower to hit, Commander? to discourage them from meleeing. Um, and then only specific melee mechs should be allowed to do it. Yeah, I don't know. I think the SRM build is better. Don't doesn't have the range. But it certainly feels better. God, I'm so sorry about this AMS laser, guys. Oh, we can get eyes on. Let's do that. Centurion, we've got... Christ, we've only got like two turns of ammo left. Yeah, we better hold off until we got a better chance to hit. I guess I didn't think we needed that much. Either that or I miscalculated the number of rounds. I bet you I did it on a uh, 30 base rather than a, than a... or sorry, a 60 base rather than a... Rather than a uh, uh, 80 base because we have 400 rounds that's like five turns how do we only have 400 rounds though MRM double says f oh it's MRM improved ammo so the double doesn't mean anything I'm sure you guys, somebody caught that probably, because I sure as frig didn't. Because hey, I'm an idiot. All these specialty ammos, man, is confusing me. You know, this isn't so bad, the lasers. The one I used to get was, I don't know, that you know that map with the big um, mining, the circular mining thing in the center with the laser bore? I used to every once in a while be close to that and that sound would continue. Um, not only would it continue during the mission, when you left it would just continue during the game. It. it was so bad. I haven't even used dead fire on this guy yet. Alright, what's the chance to hit here? 46, let's just hold off. Yeah, that's a big mistake on my part. I guess I could change to incendiary. I knew I put enough ammo in, I just... Not the right kind of ammo. I guess I have to switch it back. I think I do have MRM improved ammo. I think I've got extra improved. Can't remember. Fire everything. Right here. Let's not get too close. Um. Can we do the? Ah, uh, it's still over. Let's just do that. I think this is probably the best crab build I've had. He's going down! I find crabs are difficult to uh, load out. Wow. I think it's just because of the types of hard points they have, like two missile, two ballistic, two laser. It's really... I don't know. Not very hard hitting. Should we squash this guy? Let's save some ammo. Because that's a thing. Alright. Sheet metal. Nicely done. Somebody needs some missiles in the face here. And it's the Centurion. Let's make a let's make him a centurion century off. Yep. Acid in case we don't kill him. Firing. Yeah, we're not gonna kill him. But you. 
we do have this to go. Well, he's lost evasive. Not that it matters, because he gets to go anyway. See, the Centurion, it would still be an option for him to melee. But for other mechs like a dagger or a catapult or something along that line, it's like, why would they ever melee? It's like, they're going to do no damage. It just seems like a waste of an attack. Alright, fire. It did. It did look like a critical hit. Let's see if we can shut this guy down. Uh, when is this guy going? I have no idea. Let's go up here. And, uh... Oh! <laughs> I'm such an idiot! <laughs> oh! Why am I so dumb? Uh, we'll take the good chances to hit. It should switch to normal. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I'm so tired tonight, guys. I apologize. It's probably why I'm so giddy. But it's just like... Oh. No, you're not. I thought you were, but you ain't. You ain't out of nothing. Boom! He's taking a dirt nap. You got that right. We're gonna rain down upon you like a fiery ball from heaven. Here it comes, everybody. How you feeling, boy? Feeling like you wanna run away? I don't blame you. All it took was the laser AMS to refire and the sound's gone. Yes, Commander. That's good to know. Not that it matters, All but right. still good to know. Uh, can we load up? No, not everything. We'll just fire what we can. Come on, let's finish this up and go home, guys. Let's finish this up and go home. We can go with dead fire this time. Leave off one medium. Critical hit. He's going down! Should have made a full sprint for it. Just saying. What's up, boss? We'll use the normal ammo. Cause dur. Wow. Hope we can stop. Mission successful. So I think if we're going to stick with that MRM build, we need to put the damage increase uh, uh, fire control system in there to increase the missile damage to five. I think really that's the only viable way to make it useful. Once again, the hunchback with four kills. Uh, lots of mech parts. Don't really need it. Let's see what's down here. Um, exchanger, possible. Well, that's a good exchanger, but it's three tons. I like the clan exchangers because they're only one ton. It's a little less sinking, but still, it's like half the weight of what you normally would pay for the same sinking. Double heat sink, double heat sink kit. Or a double heat sink, which is a really good possibility. That's kind of worth its weight in gold right now. Warfare suite. SRM stuff, LRM, Artemis. Yeah, let's go with this. Take the double heat sink. We can, we're definitely looking for these things. Okay, Gorilla parts, string. Oh, we got five Gorilla parts, finally. Stingray part, hand, and prototype. Okay. 60 grand in repairs. Not bad. 60 grand for a prototype double heat sink. It's kind of worth it. 
All right, so we're over 3 million C-bills. That should probably, maybe, we got 24 days at the end of the month, probably be enough to get stuff into storage. Let's bring the main lance up to the top. And so in six days, we'll have these four back and then another five. So let's actually just go forward six days here. Okay, so we're going to leave it here. Hopefully, we can get the mainland stored out. Just have a quick look here. We'll get the main lance stored away. We'll bring them back. Uh, yeah, and then more than likely, actually, let's put this guy away for now too. Um, depends. Like if we can run with this for now, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we have to store them and bring them back before we can use them. Um, but we're going to do that because we want to upgrade them. So we'll store them, bring them back. Um, we'll get the primary lance up and running first, do some mission for sea bills, then get the second, secondary lance back. Um, and then at that point we can figure out what we're going to do. Um, I think probably what we'll end up doing is allying ourselves with Karita, um, do some con uh, conflicts with, the, uh, with Steiner, maybe make a push towards Earth if we can, Try some of that stuff, and then, I mean, we won't make a big deal of difference because we're not on all that long, all during like during the evening. But um, that's what we'll try to do, and then from there, um, once the clans make their way down to the inner sphere, we're going to head back over and start fighting the clans again. Uh, but we're going to do it in the name of Karita, uh, do the best we can, um, furthering the Karita name, um, since this is kind of where we are right now. Uh, more than likely, I'll ally with them at some point, but not right away. Um, we'll just see how it goes. It's nice to be able to take um, different contracts on different planets and still gain bonuses with them. Like, it was nice to be able to take Outworld Alliance contracts and get paid a little extra for those. Um, so I may not ally, or I may just for a while and then switch back. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like, if you have any comments, uh, drop them in the comment section down below. Um, you know, mech loadouts, whatever. I like to list to look at the uh, different mech loads, loadouts. I might not do it right away, but I definitely do look at them, and I definitely will switch up. I think there's good uh, if they're valid and, and if I like them. So um, you can always count on me to be able to do that. All right. Um, also, too, uh, with regards to the Black Knight, um, if if someone can confirm that you need to. Um, Basically, put all the damage stuff in first, um, fix the mech, put it in the mech bay, then come back in um, to refit it, add all the, the damage plus the percentage stuff, and then fix it back to the mech bay, and then come back in again for a refit, and then just put all the percentage items on. Uh, if that's the way it needs to be done, if someone can confirm that, I want to try that, um, I think, with the Black Knight when we bring it back from storage. Um, I just don't know how much sea bills I'm going to have to do that with. I'll, I'll try it that way first. Um, we were hitting about 324, I think, um, melee damage. So someone had mentioned that, and I apologize, I can't remember who it was again. Somebody had mentioned that um, we should be hitting around 400 or just over 400, um, which I find interesting. So I'll, I'll try it that way and see if it actually does come out like that. But I think I remember in the past... Um, it didn't matter which way I did it, it ended up being the same. So, but we'll try it that way just to see if it does work. All right. So until next time, we'll see everybody later.